Hi, I'm Mike Duffy with Backcountry Access and Avalanche1.com. I'm going to cover some things about using a snowmobile for rescue. A snowmobile can be a very effective tool in rescue. We've always been taught to do our rescues, uh, transceiver search on foot, but that if you have a very large avalanche, why not use the faster tool, which is the snowmobile? And what we can do is use the snowmobile to get a signal, do our signal search. We're running a pattern on the snowmobile. We stop within range of the, the transceiver. We can step away from the moving snowmobile or we can shut off the snowmobile, see if we get a signal. If I'm getting 30 meters that way, I make a couple steps forward, make sure the numbers are dropping. I can jump on the snowmobile, get to that location, do my course and find search. We can use the snowmobile to transport people or yourself to the most likely search area. You can get there much faster. Many times when you're taught rescue, you're taught from the top down. With the snowmobile, many times you're at the bottom watching, you see an avalanche. Hopefully you're in a good aisle in the safety where you don't have to move. You can keep an eye on the person, get a last seen point, and use your snowmobile to get right to that area very fast. One thing to know about the snowmobile is it causes electrical interference. With most snowmobiles, you need to be three feet away from a running snowmobile. We've found with the Polaris Axis, it creates a little more electrical interference. You need to be six feet or more away from that snowmobile. Better thing to do is you can shut off the snowmobile. One thing to consider is you need to let that snowmobile power down for 20 to 30 seconds until the electrical interference goes away. A snowmobile is a very good tool in rescue. Take a class and you can learn how to use it effectively to do a transceiver search and pull off very fast rescues.